Hey everybody, thank you for watching. This is Brandon with uh, Motor Nubs and we're back with the uh, Turbo Budget Integra build. And uh, today we're going to be pulling the pan off and trying to figure out the, the flange for the drain line. So pulled the pan off. So, it looks alright. I don't know. We're just going to leave it like that. I'm going to weld the drain bung into it from the, for the turbo. Get back to it. This is pretty much the most typical looking Honda build you can you can get. Just like a Honda on jack stands. I'll, I'll take it apart. Got some <coughs> rusty jacks and a nice workbench. Exhaust and uh, miscellaneous car parts just laying in the bushes. <clears throat> and uh, you're not in the shop, you're outside in, in a wet driveway. At least it's not dirt. We got that going for us. All right, on the turbo side, we got a flange. It's going to bolt up with our AN fittings that came in the kit with the line. But on our oil pan side, I had my friend's going to weld it up. And I was like, hey, just weld this on real quick. And he's like, well, we got a problem because this is aluminum. And my oil pan is definitely steel, so that's not gonna work. Um, I don't know how to weld that, and he said it's not possible to weld that. Didn't know, but uh, we're gonna go and buy a barbed fitting that's steel, so we can weld that onto the steel oil pan, and we'll just slide it over and put a hose clamp on it and keep on rolling. Shit, ton of aluminum. Is that aluminum? I think so. How do you know? I uh, I don't. Like the numbers? Uh... Yeah. Well, you're supposed to know through this. I don't. Oh. I don't take well enough to know. I don't know anything. It's obviously aluminum. All this shit. This is some big boy aluminum stuff right here. Can you tell from the color? Oh yeah. The gun's brown. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping this is steel filler, not like some brass. Because I think that's kind of what that's telling me here. What brass? I don't know. We're just gonna weld with it. Okay. That's what's gonna happen here. Yeah. I mean, we first gotta drill the hole out. Yeah. We got more more than one step. All right. We made a trip to Lowe's or an undisclosed store, um, and we got a piece of black pipe. That's gonna we're welding that to the oil pan, and then we got a brass barb fitting. That's gonna screw onto there. Hose is gonna go onto there. Oil is gonna go through there. That's how it's working. It's not, it's, it's not the best way. <laughs> it should work in theory, though. Alright, that's the only filler not a looking fine, so we're just going to roll with it. And we're going to have to give a special thanks to Sebastian for coming all the way down from New York to weld this. This is probably not the right way to do this. Just, just throwing that out there. This is the front of the pan, right? Yeah. Where are we putting this? I don't know. Cause we're gonna mark it out. Um, like, oh yeah, stagger in between the holes. All so right. we're gonna go right here, and I don't know what the oil level is either. Just, just high. Just high. Yeah. Cause not too high though. Like, like right, right there. <laughs> that ought to be good. All right. Right there. Uh, yeah. You have to stagger it because if you put it right here, like I did on my old car, then you can't put a bolt right there. <laughs> so we're already just, missing a bolt. Though. Just for a future I just want reference. Enough to get the torch around. Well, you gotta think about the line coming. No, it's gonna stick out far anyway. So I guess as high as you can get it. No, it's, I gotta fucking weld it here. Do it. Oh, oh yeah, right you there. Do. Yeah, I'll mm -hmm. just poke the tungsten out of the way. Right there, dude. Yeah. That's it. I don't know. Stuff doesn't cost that much, so.
the hole is prepared. Make sure you're doing the safety squint when you <laughs> when you do that too. That looks pretty mint. Oh, it looks like it was made for it. Uh, it actually was. Oh, okay. All right. I mean, why why buy the right AN fitting when you can when you can just keep going? You don't gotta wait a couple of days for that fitting to come. We're just we're just gonna keep going with this. Don't stop. Never stop. Don't stop. We'll never stop. All right. What's the fish that? There's out? already a burr in there. Yeah. That's just waiting to go in your motor. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in there in the path of flow. <laughs> we'll fish that out. All right. So we'll just line her up. Put a tack on there. You need me to hold it? No. Well, hold on. I gotta figure out how to set this fucking thing up. Oh, alright. We'll be right back. Sorry, Nick, we spilled oil all over your workbench. Blame Sebastian. Oh, God. <laughs> I blame Brandon because this is his project. Let me inspect these welds. Oh, they're terrible. Interview with the welder? It's terrible. He's denying interviews right now. It's terrible. This is going to be a See that hole right there? That's for excess pressure buildup <laughs> while you're welding the rest of it. You got to poke a hole. <laughs> Never mind. God, that's a big hole too. We're gonna fun with that. I'm not sure how people can like weld under cars and shit. Take that in. Say weld under a car? Yeah, horrible. All right, we're back, we're welded, we're good to go. This is what we had going on. So, got that, that piece right there, boom. Then we we thread on our, our barb. That's our drain line now. Sticks out a little bit. I don't think it'll get in the way of anything though. So, yeah. Good to go.
Thank you, Sebastian. Terrible. All right, and we're back. We got the oil pan, and boom, there's tons of uh, metal shavings in there. So normally you'd take like brake cleaner or something and uh, clean this out, but uh, today I think we're just gonna use the good old fashioned little bit of uh, water and a little bit of oh the good stuff right there. So put that in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there we go. I think that'll do it. And there we have it. That is a clean oil pan. So um, you don't want it to sit out like that very often because it will actually start to rust pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it back on the car and throw some oil in it and it'll be good to go. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. All right, and there we have it, boom. There is the drain line, a uh, little bung for the oil pan. So, just to give you a little bit of a, an idea of what it looks like, but, yep. Thank you guys for watching, I really do appreciate it, and uh, if you like it, like it. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I got some older videos of when uh, I first start, got the Integra and started the build from about a month ago, doing the fuel system and everything else. But, um, oh, it's, and a special thanks to Nick. Thank you for uh, letting us use your welder without your permission. And thank you, Sebastian, for using his welder. Um, but, uh, yeah, so.